Let's go uh, talk about the NNL now. That one is also giving us good reasons to talk uh, talk about football. The NNL, that's the basis for development, actually, because these players rise up from the NNL to the MPFL. That's where MFM came from, Ikurudu United and the likes. Remo Stars have gained quali- um, promotion to the Nigeria Professional Football League. And the coach of the side, Yenuka uh, Obadi, says it's, it goes beyond talent now that he's building players that are informed. Yemi yeah, says, teach them the art of football. And if they are talented and put the education together, they will play good football. Real Masters, they're coming to the top flight. It's, it's a total package. You know, you have, we have a lot of, you know, the afterlife uh, in football sometimes can be cruel. That's mm-hmm. why you need to uh, be a total um, package, you know, combined education with football. Mm-hmm. And there's some of the results. Um, Division A1. Um, Kasna United played a goal as well with Shokuto United. Uh, Kogi United defeated Yarama Light 2-1. Uh, Mighty Jets that defeated Kasna United 1-0. Shekau Shekau played a one all draw with Jigawa Golden Stars. All these results from Division A1, Division A2, FC Taraba 1-0 victory over FC Sambara. Uh, Wiki Torres feed us 2 1 victory over Quara United. Wow. Gobe United slim 1 0 victory over Adamawa United. Mm. Dreams International Football Club uh, defeated Supreme Court Football Club 2 1. We go to B1 now. COD United, uh, not, not good for them, but losing 2 0 to Remo Stars yeah. that have gained promotion mm. to um, the uh, MPFL, the league. Uh, Prime FC 1 0 victory over Go Round. Delta Force defeated Aqua Starless 1 0. Unisem Rovers 1 1 draw with Abia Comets. And of course, uh, in B2, Julius Atete played a 1 0 draw with ABS. That's Abubaka Abu, Abu, Saraki FC. First Bank 3 1. 3 1 victory over Bielsa United. Crown FC 1 0 victory over Coffine. And of course, Gateway, end of my city is happy. <laughs> <laughs> but of course, uh, if you're from uh, Benin, you'll not be happy. Um, defeating Bennett Insurance 3 0. Mm. Okay, that's our results from the Nigeria National League and the biggest talking points. Um, Remo Stars beating COD at the Agege Stadium by two goals to nothing to gain promotion to. Uh, the Nigeria Professional Football team, uh, Football League. Look how bad that team right there. Yep. Uh, it's all joy in Ogun State. Their final game is against Unisem Rovers yep. uh, the Dico, uh, the North Stadium in Ijebode. It's going to be a party yep. afterwards. And you see, if you look at Remo in a way, uh, the owner of the club, visionary, yeah. you're giving assistance. These things will pay off in the long run. Yeah, you really. Uh, I mean, also they've, they've been knocking around for a while for, for like four seasons. They've learned the ropes, you know, in the hand and now They've got a lot of experience. And when you have Indukog Bada as a manager, mm. you can't be sure of sources. And uh, this is what happened to them this season. I mean, amazing form, amazing run for them. In in, in the last 13 games, they won, they won eight. They lost just uh, about one or just two. Just one. They drew four. One, one, and they drew four games. They scored amazing 19 goals, considered eight. You know, brilliant form. You know, right. get, get result away from home, like you said, against UD United, against Goran also. Brilliant stuff for them. I mean, I think our Gustav fans will be excited to see Premier League football back after Gateway, you know, struggling for a couple of seasons in the end. And they're also, you know, into the contention, talking about Gateway also, but it is also good to see Premier Club and Hemo Stars, you know, yeah. you know joining, you know, uh, the scene in the NPFL. We just hope uh, they can compete and then, you know, stay as long as they could in the NPFL. Okay, so that's it. That's the story. Remo Stars uh, gaining promotion to the Nigeria Professional Football League. We're hearing from fans of Inugu Ranger. We also, also hear from fans from uh, Remo Stars. What do you think after your team gained promotion? to the NNL. Bigger challenge now you think they can stay. Talk to us Twitter, channel Sunday School Sports. I mean, let's go to Ghana. What's, no, no, I don't know what's going on. Let's go to Ghana. Because sometimes when we hear of these things and... We think it's only Nigeria. We think it's only Nigeria, but these are not good times for Avram Grant and his team in Ghana. And, and it looks like the Black Stars are, you know, pressing the, uh, you know, the stock button. Mm. Uh, th- there are stories that um, Avram Grant has, is holed three months Salaries, but the Ghana Football Federation has issued a press statement that's saying uh, that, that that's not true. Mm. But we also have it that uh, they are lining up a replacement. You know, all of those things. Some will say there's no smoke without fire. Yeah. All of these stories coming out uh, of it, uh, they are not helping themselves. Yeah. You know, they, they've had issues with Abraham Grant. Mm. At some point, you know, he comes in and goes out. They, they wanted a coach that would stay. Um, right there with, with yeah, them. Yeah, Some yeah. also do not agree with his playing style. Some of, of the Ghanaian football officials are also calling him lazy. Yes. Uh-huh. So all, all of these issues um, joined uh, together. Um, we'll we see how it goes. The, the man has not made a comment. He shouldn't. 
that's what we're that's what uh, i'm sure he wants to go to the cup of nations i'm sure he wants to go to the yeah. world cup as well yeah. uh, so the world cup tell all that well, now let's go to the cup of yeah that's what i'm saying he, he wants to keep his job you're going to make a name with the black stars yeah if you keep your head on your shoulder uh but i, I i'm thinking maybe this is a leak coaches do it mm. <laughs> maybe this maybe somebody just leaked this to the press it will unfold it will unfold but but the Ghanaians are saying the story is not true and we've not heard from the man That's but right. it's interesting i'm afraid mm. uh, a, a strong african nation like black stars that you're having uh, this so, some some will say maybe that should make us rest well that we are not the only ones yeah having especially now that we have a coach that is threatening Fire <laughs> okay, yeah, so, so, so none of these issues should come up. But I, yeah, me, it just puts a big question mark on African football. Or what administrators, are we doing? Administra basically, administration yeah. is very, very important. There's, no, you know, there's nothing wrong in getting a foreign professional that you know can do the job, but it doesn't come cheap. Yeah, pay the money. Mm, I know. Welcome back. Final part of the show. Now we told you the FA Champions League is back. A quick look at Tuesday's fixtures, CSK Moscow, Ahmed Musa's former team will take on Tottenham Hotspur of England. Uh, Ahmed Musa's current team, Leicester City, will take on FC Porto Monaco, will clash with uh, Bayer Leverkusen, is Dortmund taking on Real Madrid, Sporting Lisbon will play Lydia Warsaw. The fixtures of the FA Champions League uh, continues with FC Copenhagen taking on Club Bruges, Dynamo Zagreb will play uh, Juve, while Sevilla will play Lyon. Olympic Leon. So that's it for Tuesday fixtures. I mean, before we go, Sergio Rea, I think we, could t we keep saying it that your conduct matters a lot as a professional. He's in trouble again. Yeah, again. Uh, two months. Uh, well, I don't know if it, it, he's going to go to jail, but he's oh. suspended, but he's going to appeal. He so says he will appeal. He says he will appeal. Mm. So he's a free man pending the appeal. We're likely going to see him in the UEFA Champions, Champions League. He's a suspended sentence but if he appeals he might be given a fine but 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 it's sad you know like like you said when we're not we're not on air that uh, it's always in trouble, trouble to, uh, for, for the wrong reason same man abuses teammates abuses coach says a lot of things. The police officer uh, yeah, it was coming from a nightclub mm. policemen tried to stop him assaulted them uh you know uh and a law enforcement officer wow you kicked kicked nah. and elbowed it's not allowed i think it's wrong it's not allowed so wrong thank you so much toby Adekwadi, yeah, for coming out thank you yemi for coming i'm sorry pleasure. i did that to you talking about serge <laughs> in a wrong way to end the show but it's okay we had fun talking sports tonight remember you can keep talking to us on twitter or channels on us called sports facebook channels i feel sports that's the show on behalf of the ever dedicated sports team i'm austin okuna i'll be back again tomorrow to talk some more sports but until then in everything you do remember Let's keep talking sports. Bye for now.